happy Makeup Monday, everyone. This is a quick, clean makeup look I wore on Instagram the other day, and a couple of you guys asked what it was, so I'm just gonna recreate it really quick for you. It's super, super easy. To start, I prep my skin, I have a CC cream on, and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer. This is the Touche Clot, and I'm actually gonna use it as an eye primer. So I'm just putting a little bit on my lids, and I'm just gonna use my finger and blend that out. Then what's different that I just learned taking a Makeup by Mario class, master class, because I'm a makeup addict and I wanted to learn new tricks, um, I'm gonna actually, usually if you watch my videos, I always do liner as my last step. I'm gonna do it as my first step. And the reason we do this is to kind of get the outline of the shape of the eye that you want first, and then you can go in with the shadow and finish it off. So. I'm gonna start with liner and I'm gonna do that off camera because it's really annoying to watch anyone do eyeliner. So I'll be right back. I did my liner and now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna start with one color from this Desert Haze Charlotte Tilbury palette. So looks like that. I'm gonna go in with this lighter color. I think it's the enhanced shade. And I'm just gonna take a little brush like that and my makeup artist Britt taught me how to I usually I usually just tap my brush when I have product on it but she wanted me to tap and then kind of like rub it on your hand so that you're you can because you can always build it's easier to add than take away and I find this tip has really helped me I did my eyeliner really weird on that side I'm gonna have to fix it okay so um you can leave your eye open when you do this, and you just want to get that color in the crease. But because I just did my eyeliner, I'm following the shape of that liner. I'm closing because I'm looking at you here. So I'm not going below where that liner is. So the other day when I was doing my Makeup by Mario course online, it was one of those, it's so stupid that I did this, it was one of those um, Sephora, I had points from Sephora, and it was like a master class that you could do online, it was like a live master class with him, and the dumbest thing about it is that everything he does in this course, he uses his products that are for sale at Sephora, and hold on. Let me go in with the next color. So I think, I think the other day I literally just did this and then add a little, little bit of brightness and I was done. It's like a one shade thing. But I'm gonna just to deepen it a little bit, I'm gonna add this color, smoke, I think it's a smoke color. And just to give it like a little more depth for the sake of having some fun. <laughs> Um, so Darren was laughing at me because I was doing the I was taking the course, but I was like couldn't really give it my full attention. But every time he would talk about a product that he was using, I would like he's like you're you're like a drug addict. Like I run to my computer and just like look at the product so that I could go buy it. And it was ridiculous because I did this free course, and then ended up spending all this money on all the products he all the products he used. But the good news is is it was the VIB Rouge sale, so everything was 20% off. You know, I have a justification for everything. Look, the more I learn, the more I could teach you guys, right? Because I'm not a makeup artist. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. Half the time that I end up with like a good look, it's an accident, unless like a makeup artist walks me through it. I always just have fun and then hope for the best. Could be done right now, or you can add a tiny bit of brightener which is what I did yesterday. So I'm just taking this little brush. Can I just tell you a quick story about this? This is a very talky get ready with me, probably because I have not a lot of steps to do. This is a Chanel brush. It doesn't even say Chanel on it anymore. I, my mother bought this for me when I was 17 years old, modeling. 17 years old, modeling um, in LA. And I didn't really know much about makeup, but I was starting to learn and she bought me the Chanel brush and I, have not been able to get rid of it because it meant so much to me that my mom was like taking me for my first makeup and I was just like learning about makeup and 
you know, when she bought me things, we didn't, we grew up with a very interesting upbringing and we didn't have a lot of money and so when my mom would make things happen for me and buy me things they were all very 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 meaningful so I could never get rid of them more to come on my new podcast you will hear all about this stuff but um, these things are really sentimental so I can't throw them out so I still use it and by the way it's a Chanel brush it held up pretty well put that in the corner and then that's really it for the eye look I'm just gonna curl my lashes and add mascara and I'll do the rest of my face with you guys next up I added mascara and some lashes just cuz I'm trying to practice doing them because I'm really bad at them I just got this little Charlotte Tilbury I got a new film star bronze and glow because I ran at, like the other one was getting so low and it came with this cute little contour brush so I'm gonna show you how I do this I've done this a million times but um, just a little to contour my face with. I don't really like a lot of contour because I have a skinnier face, so I prefer a fuller looking face than making it look skinnier than it is. But I still do a little bit. I'm gonna try Jamie Greenberg's eye lighter, and this one is the pink one. A little on my finger, and ooh, that's very pink. So this is a blush and a highlighter in one, which helps you give, get that glowy, dewy looking skin if that's what you're going for. I'm gonna do lips really quick. So I just got this lip expert. This Sarah, I don't know, I'm gonna link it below. It's a lip primer. I'll, I'll link everything. Sarah, whatever her name is, Hap. Uh, and it, uh, my lips are really, really dry. And I find this very helpful. So that the liner, like I'm gonna line and fill in my lips, it's smoother, like it's a smoother canvas and it's not as like cracky. Does that make sense? Uh, this is the Pillow Talk 2, so it's a medium Pillow Talk. Lip Cheat Lip Liner. And then I'm going to use Honest Beauty on top. This is the liquid lipstick in Off Duty. It's definitely a little pinker than I wanted. I might play with this, um, but then I would just powder my face, and to finish off the whole look, I always end everything with one of my essential oil roller perfumes. This is Funk Free, which is a mood booster, it helps with depression, and it just makes me feel really, really good. I put it on my everywhere, and then sometimes I'll roll some in my hands rub my hands together and put it through my hair because there's coconut oil and it makes my hair smell good and um, helps with flyaways. And uh, and this is your easy clean look. Mainly I wanted to show you how to do the eyes, not even the rest of my face, but for those of you who really wanted to see the full look, this is it. Let me know what you think and what else you want to see. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.